We often find ourselves aimlessly scrolling through Instagram, and lately our feeds feel increasingly homogenized. Post after post, it sometimes seems like everyone is wearing the same skirt, doing the same pose, and writing the same generic captions. It's almost as if they're robots. Well, in fact, some of them are. Meet Michaela. Step forward, Michaela, an artificial intelligence influencer. With 1.3 million Instagram followers, she's just like any other fashion blogger with perfectly planned posts, a themed feel, and a penchant for sharing useful advice. But what makes her different? She's entirely fake. Michaela might be artificial, but that hasn't stopped the fashion world from embracing her. She collaborated with Prada for Milan Fashion Week by posting 3D-generated GIFs of herself at the Milan show venue wearing the spring-summer 2018 collection. Over on Prada's Instagram account, she gave their followers a mini-tour of the space, just like any influencer would for a brand. Prada isn't the only brand that's embracing the virtual world. Balmain also announced that it now has a Balmain army that features CGI models Margot, Shudu, and G, who showcase the latest designs from its B-Box line. There's even a dedicated modeling agency for digital models, including the faux face who started it all, the world's first digital supermodel, Shudu. Enter Shudu. She is featured on the cover of Hypebeast, in the pages of V Magazine wearing cool IT brands like Balenciaga and Kenzo, and has most recently made an appearance in Vogue. She even has a record out. With all of these achievements, it's unsurprising that she was named one of the most influential people on the internet by time. On Instagram, people find this woman so gorgeous that admiring fans wonder how she could possibly be human. You don't even look real, you look like a painting. One user commented after the South African model, who goes by Shudu, posted a dreamy photo of herself wearing a gauzy pink dress, gold African neck rings, and a powder pink turban. OMG, I'm in love. In reality, Shudu, who has 238,000 followers on Instagram, is more painting than person. She's a 3D digital animation made by an Englishman named Cameron James Wilson, who bills his creation as the world's first digital supermodel. Influencers, beware, hot bots are coming for your jobs. Shudu is representative of a growing crop of beautiful and highly realistic avatars on social media, created for the sole purpose of gaining followers and making money. And it's working. These otherworldly beauties are landing lucrative partnerships with the biggest names in fashion, such as Balmain, Calvin Klein, and Dior. Social media savvy celebrities are embracing them as well. Kim Kardashian, Bella Hadid, and Zendaya have all appeared in photos and videos with their digital counterparts. Even top modeling agencies, including IMG and Lips, have signed on to manage the most popular bots. Over the past few years, this has really taken off. Wilson, who runs the virtual influencer company The Digitals, says, Wilson, 30, now controls the careers of seven robot models who, like human influencers, post sponsored content on social media for money. My company has grown massively. This is a really lucrative industry. Though Wilson declined to share Shudu's income, social media marketing expert Charlie Buffin, who manages both human and digital influencers, estimates that the top bots make between ten and $15,000 per post, if not more, which is on par with humans who have a similar number of followers. Buffin, 27, who runs the LA-based company Spark, says that unlike humans, bots present brands with a unique level of control. They won't do anything the brand doesn't want them to do. Previously, Trevor McFedries and Sarah Deku, the creators behind hotbot Lil Michaela, got $125 million from investors, according to sources. She's the first and most widely recognized bot fluencer with 1.8 million followers. And in October 2018, the virtual it girl landed a coveted job at Dazed Magazine as a contributing arts editor. Success by surprise. For Wilson, Shudu's success came by surprise. A fashion photographer for eight years, Wilson decided to take up 3D design as a hobby and created the model based on his favorite Barbie doll, Princess of South Africa. He posted a portrait of Shudu on Facebook in 2017, and it quickly went viral, with thousands wondering who this mysterious woman could be. He found the enthusiasm encouraging. As a 3D artist, when people are unable to distinguish if it's a photo or 3D, that's a really big compliment, Wilson says. I started to see the potential of it. Inspired, he launched Shudu's Instagram page, but kept his identity a secret as thousands of followers poured in. A photo of Shudu wearing a bright Fenty lipstick was reposted on the Rihanna brand's Instagram, prompting even more speculation about Shudu. Wilson wasn't intentionally trying to deceive anyone, he says, but a black mirror moment with a t-shirt company prompted him to finally come clean. 
Eager to collaborate with Shudu, the t-shirt company sent the model a yellow sample to wear in an Instagram post for cash. Wilson, determined to prove his skills, then created a digital version for Shudu to wear and posted the pic. When the company believed the shirt and photo were real, Wilson was shocked. It blew my mind and I was like, okay, if somebody could send me their own t-shirt and can't tell if it's real, then I feel like people need to know the truth. Wilson unmasked himself in a Harper's Bazaar piece in 2018, but the confession was met with outrage, mainly by critics who viewed him as a white man profiting off the image of a black woman. One of the biggest critics is popular YouTuber Natalia Taylor, who posted a video blasting Wilson and sharing the disturbing truth about this model. This individual, which isn't even an individual, it's a computer, is taking up an extremely valuable spot as a model in this industry, Taylor says in the video, which was posted over the summer and has nearly 2.5 million views. But no, that spot is now taken up by a fake black woman that was constructed by this white man. Fellow YouTube star Grace Victory, a lifestyle influencer and body positive activist, places the blame on companies for perpetuating the trend. Brands don't seem to care who you are, or what you are in this case, as long as you can push a product to thousands and thousands of people, she says. I do not get it at all. Wilson says it's a fair criticism and has pledged to work with as many black-owned companies as possible. In comes Nunuri. But he's not the only white artist making serious cash from a design that depicts a beautiful woman who appears to be of another race. Jorg Zuber is the man behind the dark-haired, wide-eyed Nunuri. Though his character is much more cartoon-like than the hyper-realistic Shudu, the Munich-based designer has already seen tremendous success since launching the Fashionista in 2018, garnering her 402,000 followers and snagging spots for Nunuri in vogue alongside Kim Kardashian and Tommy Hilfiger. She signed with IMG Models. Zuber says that because he employs a team of six designers to work full-time on Nunuri, he has yet to break even on her. He's also been especially and strategically picky about who she works with. I didn't want to make fast money, like 500 euros here or $1,000 there. I really wanted to be selective, says Zuber, 44. In the end, it maybe pays off in a few years because her fans see she only works with brands that correspond with her values and attitude and mindset. She's like a real person in a way. Serious Business Just like living influencers, the virtual ones showcase their lives through posts about travel, heartbreak, activism, and, in little Michaela's case, disturbing history of physical attacks. In December, a video circulated of Michaela saying she was in a rideshare with another passenger, a creepy-ass man, when I just feel this guy's cold, meaty hand touch my leg as if he's confirming I'm real. The video was met with outrage. At little Michaela, you're playing with real stories, real trauma. Physical attacks is a scary real reality, and at this point you're ignorantly offensive. What type of sick shit is this? Singer Kehlani tweeted. But influencer robots designers see things differently. They believe building personalities for their creations is essential to their success. You have to give a character a personality that people can really follow and relate to. Otherwise, what's the point, says Buffin, whose hotbot Daisy Page is a model at Agency Lips, which represents Cardi B, Courtney Love, and Lizzo. You need to have some context and background for people to engage with it. Zuber agrees. A big part of her life is raising her voice for the voiceless. Children, animals, and nature, he says, of Nunuri, who has done posts with UNICEF, Naomi Campbell's Fashion for Relief, and the CFS Foundation. Wilson believes the bots have even more potential to do good by reducing air travel and ground transportation for photo shoots and by eliminating the need for sample clothing, all of which could have a positive environmental impact. However, if you ask us, we fear any potential benefits are not enough to make up for the fact that beautiful bots are still essentially fake. Connecting with real people is super important for mental health and our well-being. Having virtual influencers really takes away from our humanness. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.